Hello students. Today I want to extract a promise from you that what has already been done by so many people that will not circumscribe our limits, that will not be our dream, that will not be the benchmark of success for us. We will set a new benchmark and we will undoubtedly achieve it. See, the only thing that you need to do is having set your goal, pursue it, run behind it like the single with the single mindedness of a bulldog running behind a rabbit. And trust me, in this universe, there is nothing that has been done that you cannot do. Rather, there are so many things that have not yet been done, but you can do. With this positive note, today we are going to study. There are certain terms in the chapter, reflection of light. Reflection of light. This is the name of chapter in class 10th physics. And today we are going to study some terms like frequently used term and this is one light ray. Light ray. So a light ray is nothing but this is a path followed by photon or photons in space. In space and which is visible to us as a column of light. Another simple words you can say this is the path that the light follows. We said that uh, as per quantum theory of light or the particle theory of light, light is comprised of or consists of the photons which are bundles or quantum of light. So the path followed by them is light ray and it is indicated by an arrow. This arrow indicates, head of the arrow indicates in which direction this light is being propagated. Another term that we will see is beam of light. Beam of light rays or beam of light rays or just a beam, beam of light. See, a beam of light is nothing but a group of rays taken together. When large number of uh, rays you take together, that forms a beam. And now you will come across three types of beams. This is parallel beam of light. When the light rays are parallel to each other, they are originated from a source and move in a particular direction. So this is beam of light and this is parallel beam of light because the light rays which are originated from a source and moving in a definite direction are parallel to each other. And this if I say this is convergent beam of light. This is the beam, convergent beam of light. A light beam is said to be convergent if the light rays actually meet or appear to meet at a point. So that is convergent beam of light. And yet another one is diverging beam of light. So a diverging beam of light is comprising uh, so many rays in it. And uh, this is the one in which the light rays spread. They spread away from each other and or they appear to spread. Either they spread or they appear to spread. Then that is called diverging beam of light. This is diverging beam of light. This is converging beam of light. And this undoubtedly is beam of light, I said. This is beam of the parallel beam of light. A beam of light we know, ray of light we know, and having studied all this, now we will come on to defining certain terms which are like what is point of incidence? Yesterday's class we have studied uh, while studying what is reflection. Let us say this is reflecting surface. Uh, reflecting surface is the one where the, from where the reflection is taking place. This is a plane mirror, let us say, and this is the point where this light happens to meet the reflecting surface. Now, as we say, this is light ray, and so point of incidence, this is called. Point of incidence. See, what is point of incidence? This is the point on the reflecting surface where the incident ray happens to meet the reflecting surface or whether light that happens to fall. Incident ray, uh, now we will define incident ray. See, incident ray is the ray of light which happens to fall onto the reflecting surface. And what about reflected ray? A reflected ray is the one that is bounced back after striking the reflecting surface. It bounces back into the same medium from which it was coming. This is reflected ray. Reflected ray is the one that bounces back after reflection. 
incident ray is the one that happens to fall on to the point of incidence and this also originates from point of incidence. Another one uh, term is normal. This is normal and normal is a perpendicular at the point of incidence to the reflecting surface. To the reflecting surface. This is normal, point of incidence, reflecting surface, uh, incident ray, reflected ray, all we have defined. Now <coughs> we will see what is this angle cut. See, always start referring, it is not mandatory, but uh, for being on safer side, I am telling, always say, angle of incidence is the angle found between the normal and the incident ray. Please do remember, this is the, this angle is not the angle of incidence. It is angle of incidence is the angle between the normal and the incident ray. And similarly, angle of reflection is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. And this angle is given a particular name. This angle is called glancing angle. Glancing angles. Very less number of books refer to this, but this is called glancing angle. This is glancing angle, this is angle of incidence, this is angle of reflection. This is formed, angle of incidence is formed between normal and incident ray. Angle of reflection is made between normal and incident ray. And uh, with all this, now we will straight come on to the, what are the laws of reflection? Laws of reflection. See, number one is angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. These two angles are always going to be same. And another law is that normal incident ray and reflected ray all lie in the same plane. This is most widely misunderstood term so as to what the meaning of all lying in the same plane. This means only this, that if you are representing them onto a board or onto a page, all of them can be represented falling flat onto the surface. That plane surface you are representing them on, on that they can be represented falling flat. Now here all of them are falling flat onto the board, none of them is entering into the board or none of them is coming out of the board, all of them are lying on the board. That is the meaning of being in the same plane. So normal incident ray, reflected ray all lie in the same plane and another law was angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection and a little bit I would like to tell if we keep bringing this angle of incidence, the incident ray closer to the normal and finally let us say we are putting the incident ray onto the normal. Then obviously you can see when this ray was getting closer and closer to the normal this angle was decreasing and obviously when the incident ray happens to um, follow the same path as was followed by normal then the angle of incidence is zero. Undoubtedly angle of reflection at such time will be zero. That means the ray which is incident along the normal will be reflected back along the normal. If a ray happens to meet the reflecting surface along the normal, it will be reflected back along the same path. The angle of incidence and angle of reflection both being is zero in this case. Though the glancing angle will be 90 degree in this case, but that is not angle of incidence. So having defined these terms, rest we will see in the next class.